Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making the Mylena hair bow. I did make one just before Christmas. This is the smaller version. And this one measures around seven to seven and a half centimeters across or three inch. The one that we're making today is going to be almost 10 centimeters or four inches. So this one was made using a one inch wide ribbon and this one is made using a one and a half inch wide ribbon. The tutorial for this one, I will link at the end if you want to know how to make this smaller version. So for the bigger Mylena hair bow, you will need a hair clip. I'm using a 45 millimeter non-toothed clip because these are the, just the ones that I prefer. You could use a 55 millimeter or even a 65 millimeter clip for this bow because it is bigger. But these are just the clips that I like and that my daughter likes to wear in her hair. I've got a piece of ribbon one centimeter wide by 11 centimeters and this is going to be to wrap my clip. I've also got this strip here which I've already attached a little rhinestone trim to. I got this from AliExpress and all of my ribbon as well. I will link everything that I use in this tutorial in the description below. And as you can see, I've already attached it. And this is a hot fix rhinestone trim. You can get it in all sorts of different colors. I've got a few different ones here. And I just cut a strip. I used an old pair of scissors to cut this because obviously when you're cutting through these rhinestones, it will blunt your scissors. So use an old pair of scissors. And I just use my hair straightness to heat seal this to my ribbon. So this is ready to wrap around the center of my bow. I've also got a needle threaded with some strong thread and I've popped a knot in the end. I've got a lighter and this is to heat seal the ends of my ribbon. And I've also got a hot glue gun turned on and heating up. So as you can see, you need eight pieces of ribbon to make this hair bow. If you want to make it all in one color, you could just use a plain one color grow grain ribbon and that way you will only need four pieces of ribbon. It does look lovely in all one color as well, but to get this two-tone look, it just gives it a little bit of interest and this is the look that I'm going for. I've picked two ribbons, one in a pattern and a complementing shimmery blue ribbon. And all of the eight pieces of ribbon are the same length and width and they are one and a half inch wide or four centimeter wide ribbon and all eight pieces are cut to 18 centimeters in length or just over seven inches in length now taking your lighter you will need to heat seal all of the ends of your ribbon and this will just get rid of any frays as you can see this has got some frays on it and that just gets rid of those frays and prevents any further fraying. You will need to do that on all eight pieces of your ribbon. So now I've got all eight pieces of my ribbon heat sealed at the ends. Just to let you know, obviously this pattern requires to be a certain way up because if you look at this mini version I made, this pattern ribbon, you could have it either way up, it didn't matter. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use a patterned ribbon, which needs to be the correct way up and how to get it the correct way when you've made your finished bow so that you don't have anything upside down. So I'm just grabbing some fabric clips now. You can use hair clips if you've got those at hand and you don't have fabric clips. I'm just going to pop them there, ready to use. I'm going to start with the top two and work my way down. So I'm just going to move these ones down off the screen a moment. And then taking these first two, we're going to pop them together and line them up. As you can see, the bottom of the pattern is on the right. When I flip it over, the bottom of the pattern is now on the left. And then I'm going to fold this up leaving two centimeter overlap from underneath. So I'm going to do this by eye to begin with. And then just grab my tape measure. And then you can just slide it so that you've got a two centimeter overlap there. And then I'm just going to a clip there just to hold that in place and then taking these top two corners I'm going to bring them down to meet this bottom corner 
So grabbing the top two corners, bringing them down diagonal toward the right and lining up the corners, just overlapping the bottom folded corners. And then grabbing this clip, I'm going to pop it on there to hold that in place. And then we're going to do the same with the top two. Grab the top two left hand corners and this time we're going to bring it down but we're just going to line all of these ends up and you want to leave around one centimeter overlap there so one centimeter and then making sure all of these ends are in line grabbing another clip I'm going to grip that in place to hold it in place and then I'm going to set this down now and then I'm going to grab my next two and I'm going to put these two together again with my pattern on the right hand side the bottom so when I flip it over the bottom of the pattern is now on the left in the same way as we did the first piece, we're going to fold it up, making sure they're in line, leaving a two centimeter overlap. And we are going to this time, on this one, we grabbed the left hand corner and folded it down toward the right. This time we're going to grab the right hand corner and we're going to fold it down toward the left. So we're doing the same but opposite on this one. So overlapping these corners, grabbing this clip and holding that in place. And again grabbing the top right hand corner this time, folding it down diagonally, lining up the pieces at the bottom making sure you have a one centimeter overlap there and then grabbing another clip to hold those in place and as you can see this is going to be the left hand side of the bow and both pieces are the correct way up for the left hand side of the bow so i'm going to set those two pieces aside now and now for the right hand side of the bow, we're going to do the same, but this time we have to flip the pattern back to front. So for this one, I've got my patterned ribbon and I'm going to line it on top of my shimmer ribbon. And with this one, we had the bottom of the pattern toward the right and then we flipped it over. This time we're going to flip it the other way round. So the bottom of the pattern is on the left and then we're going to flip it upside down. So now the bottom of the pattern is on the right. And now we're going to make it in the same way as we did these. So one with the corners folding down one way and then the other half with the corners folding down the other way. And then again, bring the bottom up. I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker than I did the first one. So it's not going to be as detailed. So two centimetres, I'm using my board this time. Clip it in place and then bring in the top right corner down toward the left. Clip it in place. Bring in the top left down again toward the left. Leaving a one centimeter overlap. Again, I'm just using my board now for quickness. And I am just going to trim off this excess overhang that we have here. That's better. So that's going to be the right hand side of the bow. Then grabbing my last two pieces popping them together again making sure my pattern this time is facing toward the left and then I'm going to flip it over so now the bottom of the pattern is toward the right folding it up 
leaving a two centimeter overlap here. And this time grabbing the top right corner and this time grabbing the top left corner, bringing it down toward the right, clipping it in place. And again, the top left, folding it diagonal down toward the right. Making sure there is a one centimeter overlap here and clipping it in place. I don't know why, for some reason, I've got such big overhangs on this half. But as I said before, it does happen. You can trim them off. If they're not too big, then you can just leave them and ignore them. So we've got all four pieces now made and as you can see the pattern is all the correct way up. So we've got two pieces in opposite directions on the left and two pieces flowing in the opposite directions on the right. And what we're going to do now is taking these top pieces we're going to overlap the bottom pieces so that the bow flows upwards. I'll just show you my smaller version. So as you can see, the top layer flows upwards like this, just to give that lovely finished bow. So I'll start on this side first. And I'm going to line up this top pattern piece with this topped pattern piece. So bringing this piece over the top. And then once I'm happy that they're in line down the middle and this pattern piece is in line with the bottom. I'm going to clip those all in place together. So that is the left side and then picking up the right side, again taking the top piece, lining up the patterned centre ribbons and then holding them all together whilst I remove the clips and clip them all in place. And now we're ready to sew in our pinch. So taking my needle with my strong thread and I've already popped a knot in the end, we're going to aim for six stitches across this raw edge, one in this part, four in the middle and finishing with one on this last corner. I'm going to keep this pinch together tightly with my thumb and finger whilst I remove that first clip and I'm going to go in for my first stitch through the top catching these corners here and the folded corner at the bottom and I'm going to pull it all the way through to the knot so that's our first stitch I'm just going to move this over and now we're going to do one two three four in this middle part so the second stitch has got to come up from the bottom, catching all of those layers. So that is our second stitch. I'm going to keep this pinch together and I remove that clip. Our third stitch is going to go in. So this is the center. We're going to go in about half a centimeter from the center. So back in through the top, catching all of those layers for our third stitch. Removing that clip. And then our fourth stitch. Coming back up through the bottom. Toward the top. And then our fifth stitch going through these corners here again making sure you catch all of those layers so that's our fifth stitch and then our sixth and final stitch coming up from the bottom toward the top So it looks like this at the top and this is the underside it's quite hard to see with all the pattern ribbon and then you can pull that tight to form your pinch and 
And then once you've got that nice and tight, I'm just gonna go through the edge, catching a couple of those layers. And then on the second go, I'm going to go through again, but this time, instead of pulling it completely tight, I'm going to go through this loose loop a couple of times, one, two, and that will form a knot to hold that in place. So that is the first half of the bow done. You can see that gorgeous shape taken place. And now we're going to do the same with the other half of the bow. So I'm just going to pop a knot in the end. And then do those exact stitches on the other half. So one, four, and then one and then pull in the pinch. And there we have our two halves now ready to join together. So I've got my hot glue gun here. Excuse the state of it, I have had it years. It has been a really good glue gun. I do actually think it's on its way out and I spilt nail varnish all on it. So do ignore the state of it. I'm gonna pop some hot glue in the middle and then bring these two halves together And then grabbing my clip and my one centimeter by 11 centimeter piece of ribbon which is enough to line a 45 millimeter clip i'm going to line my clip this is actually optional you don't have to line your clips this is just something that i always like to do because i just prefer the look of a lined clip so i just line the top half of my clip not the bottom as well just the top if you don't have a matching ribbon you can just cut a strip from your ribbon that you've got make sure you heat seal around all of the raw edges and that works also and now I'm going to pop some glue on the front part of my clip and stick it on the underside of my bow as you can see, this is a quite a small clip for the size of this bow, but it does work. My daughter loves these clips. They work really well. But if you prefer a toothed clip and a longer clip, as I said before, you can use 55 up to 65 millimeter clips on this bow. And now grabbing the lovely rhinestone center that I told you about earlier in the video, we're going to now pop this around the middle. So starting on the rhinestone part first, I'm going to pop some glue on there and line it up over that join. And as you can see, I will need to trim off the excess because I cut this from the strip of my ribbon. I just cut it the same length as the piece to wrap my clip. But I didn't really need it that long, so I'm just going to trim it down. Heat seal the raw edges and then stick these pieces down one at a time underneath the clip. And there you have your finished Mylena hair bow in the larger size. I'll just show you it again next to the mini one. So the tutorial for this mini version, I will pop in the corner here now. And again, all of the products that I've used to make this bow are all linked in the description below. So do check those out. If you like this tutorial today, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.